Welcome back to JP Plays. In this installment of What I Built With Lego, I'm gonna show you what I built with Lego. And as you can probably see from the layout of the details, this is in fact Dunder Mifflin. I've, uh, I've been at Dunder Mifflin for 12 years. We're gonna have a fun to walk through here. We've got the uh, front doorway. Through there is Daryl. So we kind of float over the wall. And there's Daryl, there's a the reception, there's a the sales. There's the jelly. You put my stuff in jello again. Over here is the conference room and Michael's office. They didn't include the accounting area or much more else because that'd be a ridiculous amount of Lego. It'd be huge. But this is about, it's about 1100 pieces. But let's have a real close detailed look at what's going on in Dunder Mifflin. We'll start over here by reception. So uh, over here is Pam's desk. Every desk has a little computer, a keyboard, a mouse, a phone, a huge phone. There's the coat rack and the umbrella that uh, Pam helps Jim do magic with. There's a fax over there that's telling Dwight not to drink the coffee from future Dwight. At 8 a.m. today, someone poisons the coffee. Do not drink the coffee. No! You'll thank me later. I love this little detail. Excuse my giant hands. This is a photocopy machine. I made a photocopy machine out of Lego. Where the accounting department is, open this up. There is a little cat, Angela's cat. This is Kevin with his chili at his built his chili. This is Daryl. He's just holding a takeout menu. I feel like that pretty well encapsulates Daryl as a character. Pam and Jim. Pam showing off a teapot. And Jim's, that's the envelope that he doesn't give to her until season nine, that he takes out in season two. In this little gap here, it's hard, oh, you can see it. There's one of Dwight's weapons, his sword. And in Dwight's drawer, in here, is a throwing star. Here is the birthday cake for Kelly, for her birthday, obviously when they weren't quite sure if Kelly was spelled with an E or no D. You have a delicious cake with your name spelled correctly. This hole here is the hole that Andy punched in the wall. Ah! Oh! Here's Phyllis with her knitting needles. And her screen reads Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. What line of work you in, Bob? Stanley has his pretzels and his crossword puzzle. This is the bucket that, uh, that Dwight sets on fire for fire safety. Toby finally found himself a camera. Does anyone have a camera here? Angela was holding the poster that she received from Secret Santa in season two. Up here is the bat that, is, that Dwight traps on Meredith's head. If we go in the conference room, here's a meeting that Creed didn't call. And this side of the room, Pam, Meredith, Phyllis, Creed. He never called a meeting. In the conference room, we've got Oscar, he's got a calculator, we've got Ryan, he's got a phone. Meredith's got a coffee, which is probably disguised as a different drink. And Kelly, who's normally holding her birthday cake, but I put it over there because it's, it's hard to hold. What's really cool about this is there's a sign that Dwight put up that says, it is your birthday, but they're interchangeable. There's another one you can put on that says, diversity day, take two. If we spin it around, you'll notice that the whiteboard says, don't, don't bother Luke. That's as clear as I can make it. Uh, to which you can change as the uh, pyramid scheme that Michael got a part of. It's not a pyramid scheme. It is a, it's not even a scheme per se, it's... The TV shows the DVD logo that's bouncing around. Sort of a Where's Waldo? Oh! <laughs> but you can also change it to Lazy Scranton. Red, what? The Electric City! Or you can change it to when Ryan is giving the VIP meeting online and Kelly throws a picture at his face. We'll float out of the conference room and into Michael's office. By the way, here's the painting by Pam. Into Michael's office, he's given a talking head and of course Dwight is right by his side. Dwight is holding a shriek buck. This is a shriek buck. Talking of shriek bucks. In Stanley's desk is a Stanley nickel. I'll give you a billion Stanley nickels if you never talk to me again. The ratio of Stanley Nichols to Shrew Bucks. Same as the ratio of unicorns to leprechauns. In Michael's office, up here is a radon test kit that Toby keeps planting all over the office. On Michael's desk, you'll see a sticker that says, Hi, buddy, from Pam. And the phone is ringing, it's from Jan. There is Michael's golden ticket from his golden ticket ID. Here is the check that is made out for $340 to science. And there is Michael Scott with his Dundee and his mug. I think 
that pretty much sums it up. So there you go. There is the office. There is Dunder Mifflin in all of its glory. Interchangeable signs and all. Thanks for watching and uh, stick around for next time when we build some more Lego. When I get more Lego as a gift. <laughs>